Hello, everyone. Let's talk about MariaDB observability. And I'll just get going as we have a lot of material to cover and not a lot of time. Now, why observability is uh, important? Well, if you look at the modern systems, we are really dealing with uh, a lot of complexity and uh, often we have many non-easily repeatable perform uh, problems with performance and otherwise. And that means we cannot just repeat the problem in uh, development system with a lot of debugging enabled. We really need the production um, observability so we understand what went wrong, why, and how we can uh, prevent, uh, prevent that. If you look at uh, the observability, which is achieved through data capture, I actually typically see two use cases for that. Here we have an ongoing data capture, which you have as a normal uh, monitoring, and that should uh, come with relatively little overhead. Or we have a debugging, which is a temporary data capture when you can you see something wrong, and maybe for a given session or a given instance, you enable much more verbose login and iOS instrumentation, which can get expensive, can get, get us the more details and solve maybe more problems when you cannot solve it just ongoing uh, monitoring. Now, it is also important uh, as a background for observability is that you cannot just look at uh, MariaDB alone because the rating system issues, hardware issues, uh, would be often the root cause of your problems. You cannot also ignore application issues or various other background issues, like uh, in cloud virtualized environments, maybe it is noisy neighbors which is uh, uh, giving you uh, trouble and not your application itself. Well, with that very brief uh, intro in why observability is important, let's talk um, about uh, uh, MariaDB. If you think about MariaDB, those six are the most uh, important information data sources which exist in uh, MariaDB uh, of uh, the modern versions. First one is show global status, right? Or show status. This is something which existed forever and it shows more than 500 status variables. Majority of them are counters, though some of them are gouges or text, and they can be session and uh, global mm, in a scope. They also can be both queried through this show status command as well as uh, queried from, uh, from information schema table. And here is mm, an example, querying them from uh, information schema table, and also looking at the questions which is a number of uh, queries, uh, right, database uh, processed in a global and a session scope. In a global scope, you can see the number is very large because that instance has been running for a long time and processed a lot of queries. Though, if you look at a session scope, it's just about slightly more than 100. That's how many queries uh, we're given session I am running um, executed, right? Not, not that many. Now, though, uh, what, uh, even if you query session uh, status, as this example, you can get some uh, data which comes from the global variables, right? Like uh, in a DB row counters, they are global. They are not, kind of, uh, not shown for session uh, and uh, global um, uh, separately, right? But they will be sh shown if you query session, though, or in a global scope, right? So uh, you have to just know that uh, to avoid being uh, being confused, right? Because interpreting them as if there would be indeed session variables can uh, lead you um, astray. If you would like to get the output from uh, 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 something similar to VMStat, uh, you can use uh, this uh, uh, this command, which uh, pretty much will print out uh, one of the uh, variables, in this case, uh, question, as uh, 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 with uh, one second increment. I found that as a very helpful tool if you really need to focus on one variable and zero out what is going on in, uh, in your production. 
Moving on to information schema. Information schema uh, contains lots of tables, as some of them are uh, going to be schema related, and others are performance statistics. Here is an example of uh, uh, information about your uh, state, uh, your schema. Like you can uh, query tables, mm, uh, table, and see information about your tables and uh, uh, and views. If you look at example of a performance statistics in a geometric table, is uh, a great information. And in the geometrics is something which is a very similar to show status. Uh, but it's focused on in a DB tables, and it has some additional information. Like you can see, it computes mean and max counters, has uh, information about uh, when it was last reset, uh, and uh, so on and so forth. It is worth to note what uh, by the foot many uh, by default many of those in a DB variables are not enabled. And if you want to look at them all. You can use energy monitor enable all, or there is also options to uh, enable only uh, only uh, only some of them. Another uh, table which exists uh, in uh, this uh, information schema table is energy mutexes, which is a very cool table which allows us to show uh, what kind of uh, mutexes. Uh, are uh, having a lot of OS uh, weights. And I think that can be very helpful for some of the advanced uh, diagnostics when you have uh, uh, mutex contention. Next thing what you can see from information schema is this process list, or you can think about that as an extended process list. As you can see, uh, in this case, we don't only have information about the running queries, and with time, uh, with uh, microsecond uh, resolution, but also information about the statement progress when ap applicable, or how much memory it used, uh, and so on and so forth, which is uh, actually uh, pretty cool. The next data uh, source to mention is uh, performance schema. And performance schema is where some of the most advanced instrumentation is available. It has more than 80 tables, right? So lots and lots of uh, data, uh, right? Uh, and the thing to note, though, it's disabled by default in MariaDB because it comes with some overhead. And it is also very flexible in terms of how much uh, instrumentation and so how much overhead you have. And if you enable a lot of instrumentation, the overhead may be quite high. If you want to enable performance schema in MariaDB, you can uh, add this setting to your MariaDB configuration file and restart. Unfortunately, while a lot of, Mari uh, a lot of performance schema configuration can be dynamic, enabling it uh, requires a uh, restart. If you look at performance schema configuration, it's kind of uh, uh, tricky, if you will. Um, but the good thing is what default should work most uh, uh, well for most use cases. We can see what there are a uh, number of uh, SQL tables which can be used for configuration with uh, SQL language. And also there are command line settings which are similar to, uh, to those, which is important because those tables are uh, ephemeral. Right, uh, if, when your instance restarts, the configuration will be uh, will be lost. Um, so, what are configuration uh, settings to keep in mind? The actors allows us to configure which users should be instrumented, and typically you keep it uh, to instrument uh, all the users. Consumers is what kind of summaries are going to be built. And I uh, highlighted here in red these transaction uh, summaries, which are new in MariaDB 10.5. That is one of their uh, uh, great work which has been done on uh, performance schema in uh, MariaDB 10.5. The second part of configuration is the instruments, which basically responds to the instrumentation points, the events which are going to be counted uh, and uh, uh, timed. 
In MariaDB, there is almost a thousand instrumentation point as of MariaDB uh, uh, 10.5.8, and, and almost 300 of them are time instrumented. So you can get a lot of uh, a lot of uh, details right uh, by default, and you can configure even uh, even more of them. Additionally, you can configure the objects. It tells you pretty much about the database objects, such as tables, store procedures, triggers, which you uh, want to implement, which are all uh, configured through that setup for objects table. So let's look at example of a performance schema. In this case, we're looking at tables called event current uh, statements current, which shows us uh, all the uh, or show, shows us the current tables. And in this case, well, uh, this is the statement we are looking for. We can see uh, information about when it was started, when it's ended, uh, right, and uh, you know, whole bunch of other stuff like how many rows it sent and so on and so on, which can be uh, very helpful uh, information. Another example could be looking at uh, file summary. In this case, it tells us information about their uh, InnoDB data file, or actually all the files which share the type of, of being InnoDB data file. And we can see how many reads, writes, uh, the, how many events in total, how many miscellaneous events happen to this file. If miscellaneous, when it comes to IO, typically being F sync uh, operation, as well as times. Now, if you notice in this case, the times are kind of some bizarre long numbers. And this is before, because MariaDB by default, uh, well, not by default, right? MariaDB performance schema uses a picosecond uh, to measure the time. And a picosecond is one thousandth of a nanosecond. So that is a very, uh, a very exact uh, uh, timing, right? Very high res uh, resolution, which performance schema uses, but uh, which you need to convert to anything which is mm, meaningful. OK. As I mentioned, in MariaDB, there have been a lot of work done to, done to improve performance schema. In MariaDB 10.5, performance uh, schema roughly matches MySQL 5 SAM performance schema. So things like memory instrumentation, metadata login, prepared statements, store procedure, uh, transactions, and user variables have been, um, have been added. So uh, that is uh, pretty cool, right? That means the, uh, some of the most usable features of performance schema are now available in MariaDB. OK, let's move on and look at some additional data sources, which uh, is very valuable for instrumentation. It would be error log, general log, and, uh, and query log, obviously our uh, logs. When you look at the error log, you have a lot of flexibility out there. You can uh, send it to the files, or by default, it goes to the standard uh, 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 system D journal, uh, right? From which you can uh, uh, you can mm, query that. If you look at a slow query log, which would uh, uh, log uh, the queries, which uh, the execution time. In this regard, it's actually much more useful than a query log. On the recent times, I find query log is only usable. Uh, for debugging purposes when MariaDB crashes before query execution is complete. In this case, it, uh, you would often find the query in the general query log before it's log before execution, but it would not be in, let's say, slow query log. For other purposes, slow query log has a lot more valuable information because the query is logged after it executed, so you will have execution timing as well as other uh, wonderful mm, data. You can configure slow query log mm, to log only queries which are slow, or you can configure that to log uh, you know, all the queries. And uh, uh, especially in the systems where 
Mm, you don't have a lot of uh, queries often lo uh, and uh, in development system. Logging all the queries and analyzing them with some tools really gets, gives you the most uh, uh, detail. Though, if you have a tens of thousands of hundreds of thousands of queries a second, mm -hmm. logging every single query becomes way too expensive. This is example of a slow query log with explain, which is uh, uh, which is very cool, and especially when it's con uh, configured for some logging only uh, long queries, because in this case you can really get exact explains uh, of the queries uh, which have been slow. So if you look uh, to mention a few words about explain in particular. If you're not familiar with Explain is, please Google. Explain is a very valuable tool with both database developers and DBAs need to know, which really helps you to understand how query is executed, right? And uh, you really want to make sure what your queries are executed correctly, right? Using the right indexes and so on and so forth, because if they don't, you may be putting a lot more load on database than you should. Sometimes hundreds, even thousand times more, right? And queries which do not ha have been optimized well uh, can uh, really affect your database performance very poorly. Explain in MariaDB uh, has um, uh, multiple output formats you can use. You can also run explain for um, currently running query. For example, you find the query running for some reason very slow already for 15 minutes, you can just run explain on it. Here is your standard explain, right, which is output uh, as a, a table, but there are also some advanced explain uh, features. Like I mentioned, you can get explain output in JSON format. You can use show explain for connection. In this case, you will get the connection ID. And then there is also analyze, which is a not called explain, but it is uh, also a way to understand query performance, which would uh, run the query itself, but it also will provide you information about how that query was actually executed. Where explain it uses estimates about query execution. The analyze actually tells you what has happened. Here is example of uh, uh, the explain mm -hmm. analyze. And you can see, uh, in this case, you can see actual number of rows, actual number of rows filtered, and uh, uh, so on and so forth, right? So that is a pretty cool, uh, uh, pretty cool feature. Now, uh, this is all uh, good, but if you are uh, looking for Mm, some uh, more of uh, visualization of uh, this observability data from MariaDB. Uh, I would uh, encourage you to check out Percona Monitoring Management. This is their uh, tool uh, which uh, we have developed uh, at Percona that is completely open source uh, uh, solution for mm, a number of uh, open source uh, databases. And it is particularly focused on really helping developers and DBAs to find the queries which are running poorly and uh, optimize uh, their uh, performance. Uh, with that uh, little pl uh, plug, that's all I have for you. And uh, now I would be happy to answer your questions. Thank you.